In this video, I would like to talk about ordinary pushing forces. Um, and the, the specific term we have for those is the normal force. So a normal force is just an ordinary pushing force. Okay, so if you touch something with your hand and push on it, you are exerting a normal force. Okay, so let me just sketch a diagram for that. So if we have some object and we have a person who is pushing against the, um, the object like this, um, trying to move it in this direction, that is a normal force that the person is exerting. Okay, so the word normal means perpendicular in this case, um, which kind of belies the fact that these are very ordinary types of forces, but um, specifically the um, normal force means uh, perpendicular because normal forces are always exerted perpendicular to the surface. And you might say, now wait a minute, I can push on something and not be pushing on it perpendicular to the surface. So let's examine that situation. So if I take, let's say a book, like this, and maybe I place my hand on the top surface. So for instance, something kind of like this, um, and here's my thumb, here are my fingers. Um, that's not a very good hand, I apologize for my bad drawing. But I can take this um, book and I can be pushing the book this way. So I can use my hand to slide the book along the surface. Well, that's really a friction force in that case because um, the if the book were really slippery, my hand would just slide off and the book wouldn't move. So um, I'm actually using friction to move the book in that case rather than a normal force. I do have to push down on the book, so I have this normal force um, downwards while the friction force is pushing it forwards. So essentially, the hand is exerting some force, which is at an angle, and we can consider one component of it to be a normal force and the other component of it to be a friction force. And that is how we're going to analyze um, a lot of these situations in this uh, class. Um, so ordinary pushing forces are called normal forces. Don't get confused. There's nothing magical about normal forces. It has nothing to do with gravity or any other thing. Um, they're just ordinary pushing forces. Um, ordinary pulling forces are called tension. Um, and so these two kinds of forces are closely related, right? Any type with, of contact force with pulling, we just call tension. Any type of contact force with pushing, we call a normal force. Um, and then any type of contact force that has a component um, parallel to the surface, that we call friction. Um, and if you zoom in on a situation, the three types of forces I just talked about, normal, tension, and friction can get kind of jumbly. Um, so for instance, uh, if you consider the fibers in a rope, if you pull on a rope, well, it's really friction that is keeping the fibers from slipping past each other. And it's friction that's keeping your hand from slipping on the rope. Um, if you zoom in on the links in a chain, well, the um, pulling on the chain seems like tension. But if you consider between the links, they're actually pushing on each other. Um, and so that seems like a normal force. So this isn't a big deal. Um, essentially, all this means is that sometimes it can be a little arbitrary whether we label a force as friction or tension or normal. Um, but um, you know, usually if we are uh, being reasonable, it seems um, on a macroscopic scale, like one makes the most sense. So um, don't get too confused about it. Uh, if you zoom in on a situation and it's like, well, maybe this could be friction or maybe it could be tension, chances are either one is perfectly fine. Um, you know, because these are all essentially the same phenomenon going on in just slightly different places.